So success stories will build your brand. So if you guys are doing e-commerce, you guys are doing dropshipping, you guys are doing affiliate marketing, you guys are doing um, whatever it is, you know, building a personal brand. If somebody buys your product, you know, ask them for a success story, ask them for a testimonial, ask them for something that you can leverage for your brand. So like, let's say if I was selling hats, I'm gonna hit my customer like, hey, send me a picture of you wearing your hat with a thumbs up. I'm gonna post it and shout you out. Now, I have leverage, I build success stories. So now when somebody comes to my page, they're not like, oh, this might just be another one of those things. Like, oh, this is a real brand, people get real results. If the hat looks high quality, I'm gonna buy the hat, okay? So, you, like, this is huge, this, this is very, very big. Obviously, you don't wanna overview that one as well, but this is like a very, very key concept. So success stories, testimonials, people that have gotten real results. It's called social proof, um, pretty much. And those five things, when creating a video marketing strategy, a video marketing formula, when marketing some shit online, building a brand, you need those five things to be successful. The key though is keeping, you gotta have, you gotta figure out what's right for you, but it's pretty, you know, even across the boards that your ratio needs to be right. So you can't over promote and under, you know, put testimonials. You can't over lifestyle and under uh, value, or under value that information and value that you put out. The ratio needs to be right. If the ratio is right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna appeal to your customer and your consumers, and what you're gonna have is like their subconscious, subconscious mind is gonna be more um, you know, attracted to your brand, attracted to what you're doing. Um, I know it's going super fast, but a lot of you guys got that down. Um, does anybody have like, any questions? So with social proof, um, what do you have mean in sales? How would you know how to use that? Since stuff out of free? Sometimes you gotta take a hell. Send stuff out for free, get testimonials. Another thing to do is like say somebody buys some, some shit for you, from you. Hey dude, I give you a 100% refund as long as you just send me uh, a couple of videos or a couple pictures of you with my product. I've done that, shit works. Anybody else, questions? How do you get over social performance? How do you get over? What do you mean? Like, uh, basically, because when you see everyone with success stories and people doing well and it's the fact of it interests you because you see them doing well, like I can do it as well. Right. Um, so how do you get over that? Well, so there's two things. One, take things log logically, put yourself out in the situation and respond. Two, you have to be careful because sometimes you're not self-aware and you're not in the right state of mind. So just because you see social conformity and you see it working for somebody else and you decide to do it, doesn't mean you've been convinced or it means you made the wrong decision because like, somebody persuaded you. Like sometimes you need that shit, yeah. you know. Like maybe you came to the event because you saw other people were coming, <laughs> but you were like hard headed, like, "Hey, dude, I don't want to you know, fall into social conformity, so I'm not going to go to this event." And then all of a sudden, you know, multiple people from this event leave, and you go and do uh, powerful, great things, but you didn't because that was your ego and your pride getting to you uh, because you, you know, you, you thought you thought about it too much. You over thought about it. You over analyzed. Um, I was talking to Ricky about this um, last week. Some people overthink overvalue themselves. Yo, 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 so we are somewhere in Chicago right now, and I just wanted to talk to you guys, for those of you guys watching this right now, why it's so important to like switch up your location, to get around different places, to like change up your work environment, to get stuff, you know, more stuff done. Because of social media, because of the internet, this is happening, like five, six years ago, that couldn't happen. And we're like doing cool shit, winning. And not only that, but everybody on the squad wants the next person to do better than them. They care about the next person more than they care about themselves. You go anywhere else, you know, you go to the club, you go to a party, you go, you know, even just go hang out with your boys, hang out with your girls, and half the people, if not more, in the room are probably negative. You bring up your dreams, you bring up your goals, and it's like, oh, nah, or like, yeah, you wish, or like something skeptical, right? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. At the end of the day, I just think it honestly comes down to, if you want different results, you want to do different things, you want a different lifestyle, whatever it is that you want, different income, you gotta do different shit. You can't stay in the same place, you can't stay in the same location doing the same things, kicking with the same people because shit's just gonna stay the same. Being there with the same people that are, you know, going to the same parties that they went to in high school and smoking the same blunts and hitting the same bongs and playing the same beer pong, you got the wrong squad. And here's the reason why we put consistency uh, and adaptability inside the same row. So if you're doing, you know, these four things, right? You're being consistent, you're working hard, thousand percent belief level and burning desire, and you know, you're hitting 10,000 a month, 10,000 a month, 10,000 a month, 10,000 a month. And all of a sudden, the entire market switches. You know, or your competitor undercuts your price. And they take your entire audience, and they're selling to your audience. If you don't adapt, you can do the same thing 
every day, I'm persistent, I'm working hard, whatever it is, and then boom, you're broke. Boom, your business stops making money. Boom, your business is bankrupt. Because you didn't change, you know? And I think that's, that's a huge problem. That's why, that's why you see so many people start something, then quit something, then start something else, and quit something, and it's not because it doesn't work anymore, it's because they don't know how to make it work. They don't know how to adapt to make it work. Um, number five, map and a mentor. Um, this is probably one of the most important ones, and it, again, uh, if, you, if you don't have any of the first four, math and mentors don't matter. This is obviously why you guys are here today. You wanted to figure out that math, you know, that blueprint, you know, whatever it is to you know, help scale your business to the next level. You know, so you know, some people, um, who in here you know, has a like, mentor um, in real life? You know, somebody that you actually talk to and can meet with. Who in here has a mentor you know, online and somebody you consider a mentor? Who in here would consider at least us mentors today? Right? Cool, awesome, thank you. But, um, so, you, what you need to do is you have to look at people, you have to follow people that obviously have what you want and are doing things that you, know, you want to learn how to do. And when I say map, this the reason I say map and it's not just mentor. Sometimes a map is something that you have to develop yourself. Somebody just can't give you like, boom, you know, this is exactly what you do and you're gonna get where you wanna be. Because for me personally, you know, my mentor wasn't even in the internet marketing space. He does real estate. But he taught me like the principles, you know, just business communication and you know, personal development, and, you know, how to work hard and all these type of traits that I was able to take and uh, online and kind of create my own map. Your teachers, your professors, you guys are in school, they understand something. That's why you're teaching it. You're taking the test because you know it. You don't necessarily understand it. The only way you can understand something is if you have the ability to teach it to somebody and give various examples in different situations based on your own you know, prior experience and knowledge. So one little tip, I want you guys all to write this down. When you guys are listening to this information, you guys are you know, listening to this podcast, watching YouTube videos, reading blogs, whatever it is, whenever you consume content, always you know, read the content or listen to content or watch the content like you have to teach somebody the next day. Don't listen to it just like, oh man, this is good. You know, this is good. You gotta look at it, you gotta listen to it, and you gotta be like, all right, if I have to come up here and speak in front of 100 people, you know, like I am right now, do I actually know what I'm talking about? Can I actually give examples? Can I actually, you know, uh, answer questions that people may ask me about the topic? And this is why, you know, the, the mindset stuff is so important. A lot of you guys know it. You all know work hard. You all know you believe in yourself. But if you don't actually understand it, you're not gonna get anywhere. You're gonna leave this event today doing the same shit, you know, getting the same results. But you might be doing different things. You might be doing different strategies. You might be following, you know, diagnosis, um, guides and drop shipping. But if you don't actually change the way you think, you're not gonna get results. So I, I really want you guys to like, take that in and like realize like, that's what you gotta look at. That's what you gotta understand. And that's where you gotta put a lot of energy in. Because when you do that, all these tips and all these strategies, they're gonna come to you. You know, you guys are learning it today because somebody's teaching you. But a lot of these guys, nobody's taught them. You know, everyone's had mentors, but a lot of people who have mentors here, it's not even in the same industry. You know, it's not even, you know, because a lot of this shit is new, honestly. You know, like, this shit is all so new. So, like, a lot of the things that people have learned today, like, a lot of stuff I'm talking about, Rick talked about, Casey talked about, like, they, like I said in the beginning, they created that map. And the reason they were able to create that map is because they mastered understanding the mindset, you know, compared to just knowing it. So really, really take that to heart. Um, so yeah, what I want to talk about, guys. So, all right, who here? So, I'm, pretty much, guys, I'm gonna teach you guys how to get more sales, and this is gonna relate to your e-commerce business, affiliate marketing business, social media marketing, personal brand, whatever it is. Who here? Um, and be completely honest, because if you're not completely honest, it's gonna, it's gonna fuck up the poll. Who here buy a ticket the very first second that they heard there was gonna be a man? Raise your hand. Okay, put them down. Who here got a ticket the second time they heard about the event? Down? Third? Fourth? Fifth? Sixth? Anybody hear about it 10 times before we got a ticket? Cool. So notice this, guys. Everybody got a ticket a different time that they were exposed to this event, this opportunity. One of the things when it comes to psychology, it's called the mirror exposure theory. Write that down. Essentially what it is, is the more you see something, the more you're gonna like it. Subconsciously, the more you see something, the more you're gonna like it. Now, so, check this out. 
if me or you know Casey or whoever invited you to this event, whoever you know got you interested in coming to this event, if we only talked about it one time, 90% of you guys would not be sitting here right now. If we talked about it one time, 90% of you guys would not be sitting here right now. And maybe it's because the first time you didn't take it that serious, you know, you didn't really see the value there. You didn't really think it'd be that great of an opportunity. You didn't think other people would go, that you'd be able to you know, talk to, because what Rick talks about there's fear. You know, you just don't know. And that's the same thing when selling your products or promoting your personal brand or whatever you're doing. Everybody has risk aversion. Write that down, risk aversion. When it comes to making a decision, when it comes to making a purchase, when it comes to doing anything in life, you have a risk aversion. Your guys' goals as entrepreneurs you know, business people, sales people, is to lower your customers' risk aversion. And how do you do that? You just, all you have to do, you know, some people think they have to, you know, hard sell somebody, you have to close somebody, it's not even that. All you have to do is change somebody's perception. Marketing is all about perception. So many people ask me, you know, why I'm coming out to Chicago? Why I come out to New York? Why we do these events? Hundreds of people at each event you know, for really nothing at all. You know, why I put out so much content? And what you guys have to realize is that I see myself in every single person that follows me. I see myself in every striving hustler, every aspiring entrepreneur, every single person that wants more in their life, somebody that wants to win, somebody that wants to go all in and get what they fucking want. I see myself, like, in them. So, like, when I come out and I do these events, and I come out and I put out this content, I come out and you can tell how passionate I am about what I do, there's a bigger and deeper purpose behind it and it's because I see myself and every single person because I was that same person. So if you're watching this right now, take this as your sign to go all in with your business. 2018 is coming up soon. You need to put in the work to win in 2018.